To demonstrate the Katia V5 meshing capabilities, I'd like to use this aircraft model. And my goal today is to show you how I can mesh this model in less than 10 minutes. So we're starting with half of the geometry. We are right now in the Katia assembly workbench. And as you can see, there is a lot of internal line to that model. I'm switching now to the meshing workbench. The workbench is completely integrated inside Katia. The, the interface is very similar to what you're used to in, in Katia. So I'm going to go ahead and start by meshing the, the ribs in the wing. So I will select the advanced surface mesher and click the geometry I want to mesh. Here I'm going to select an option called directional mesh that will create a mesh that will really follow the principal direction of the geometry. That will really follow the curve of the geometry. So now as you can see the mesh has been generated on each ribs. Next, I will uh, mesh the wing surface. And I will use an option called automatic mesh capture to capture the nodes that have uh, the nodes from the rib that I've already created to make sure that those two mesh are tied together. Now I will also use a the curve capture option to uh, project the different um, line of the rim into the geometry as well as the stringer. So now you can see in yellow all the mesh all the line uh, along the, the, the uh, along what the mesh need to align with and you see in red that each node from the rib mesh has actually been captured. So now if we generate the mesh, you will see that the mesh will really follow those yellow line and red line. If we zoom a little more on the rib, you're going to also see that, um, as expected, the elements aligned and are merged together between the rib and the mesh and the wing mesh. Now the next step is to mesh the, the, the body. The same way I'm going to use the automatic mesh capture option to capture the nodes uh, of the wing and really tie those to the um, to the, the body. Also here going to use a larger mesh size. And I'm going to use option such as angle between face to try to simplify that topology and remove as much as possible the internal line. As you can see here, we have some crack inside the geometry. Those can be easily ignored and located using the boundary simplification option. So using the autofocus, I can very quickly locate my crack location and also select them to ignore them. So now the mesh is going to just go over those, those cracks. I will now display the, the, the simplified topology. So you see that all the yellow line again represent the line against um, where the mesh need to align. And there is still a lot of, of, of line uh, in, in the curvature. So we're going to use the merge during um, merge during simplification option to and measure a cert the tolerance directly inside the geometry to try to even simplify those lines and merge them together. That option is very useful if you want to quickly um, remove all the fillets in your model. Now I'm going to generate the mesh. I can also work directly on the mesh and remove and add specific edge. So for example, here I'm going to remove some of the yellow constraint to smooth the, the, the and improve the quality of the mesh in this area. I also have the option to add edge if I know that the stress is going to be important in that, in that region. 
I can also on the fly create my own line constraint and force the mesh to follow those those lines. I can very easily refine a certain area of the mesh. And what's really interesting too, it's very um, d uh, easy for me to undo anything by using the Ctrl Z keys. So if you made a mistake, it's very easy uh, to just undo the last step and, and you don't have to uh, restart everything from scratch. You can also uh, use some option to directly uh, move the nodes or even split um, elements directly in s on the fly using those, those Katia V5 meshing capabilities. Now I'm satisfied with the body mesh and I'm just gonna go ahead and mesh the nose of the plan. I will use the same technique, um, the automatic mesh capture technique to capture the nodes from the body mesh and to really tie those together with the, um, the nose of the plan. I'm gonna resize the mesh and use a sm smaller element than for the body. So you see in red that the nodes have been captured and now I'm gonna generate the mesh. So if we if I zoom here, you can also check that the, the mesh are aligned with the body mesh. Now I can use the free edge option to quickly make sure that all the mesh has been correctly captured. But as you can see here, we have a little, little issue. The mesh from the body hasn't really um, been um, captured properly around the boundary. So I'm just gonna double click and directly go and modify the mesh. Mm. I'm gonna add a constraint and make sure and to force the mesh to go along those, those uh, geometric uh, edges. So now I'm going to update the mesh and check again the free edge to make sure that everything has been captured correctly. You can also you check the element normal. So as you can see here, the normal of the the um, element normal of the nose are actually different than the the no normal of the rest of the aircraft. So it's very easy for me to just simply double click on the geometry, switch back to the geometric workbench, and and go and invert the normal of that surface. This way I make sure that the element normal are exactly the same for each different part. So I'm now going to update the mesh and check again. Now the next step is actually to create the mesh symmetry. So we'll use the mirror option in Katia <coughs> to mirror all the different mesh parts along the, the central plane. So I'm selecting all the mesh parts, the plane of symmetry I'm going to go get in the hidden work visual uh, workspace and apply. I will hide the geometry and check again the free edge to make sure that the 
parent's mesh and the mirror mesh has been correctly condensed as well. We can use tools like also a cut cut plan to visualize and look um, look at the the cut plan of my of the mesh. So now my aircraft is properly meshed. And I'm done with this demonstration.